What's up, fam? This is Kenny Watero. Say what? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oof. Sorry, friends. I, I need to take my hair down. Anyway, what's going on? I am here getting ready to do an unboxing. I'm trying to make some way through these 30 plus decks I have not re yet unboxed. So here's one that I picked up some time ago and I'm going to get into it. While I'm unboxing this, my friend, let me tell you, this past couple days was great. I did a live with a Fefe at Touched by Tarot. If you're not following Touched by Tarot, please make sure you do so. We had a fantastic time. And the thing I liked about it is that we were able to give and people really didn't ask much questions. They were engaged in the conversation. It was magical. Uh, we gave away um, a couple of gifts. Um, I gave away two decks and I'll be sending those off today. FFA gave out a free reading. So, you know, definitely check us back out if we do it again, when we do it again. When I'm on my lives, check me out. Check out FFA. Uh, go to Touch by Tarot and also check out our YouTube channel. Okay, my friends. So this is the deck I'm going to be using today. It is the Tarot of the Sorceress. Okay, just get into that. And it says a witch's wheel of the year. Uh, this deck was uh, uh, let's see, it was illust or let's see, did I have this information? Hmm. Okay, so let me just read the back of it. It says discover concealed oracle message of bringing to light your hidden depths with the tarot of the sorceress. Inspired by pagan spirituality, this deck revolves around the seasonal festivals, sabbaths, and solar events that comprise the wheel of the year and rituals encompassing the four elements of air, water, fire, and earth. Okay, my friends, the major arcana cards embrace the great movements of the wheel of the year, while the minor arcana cards are tools in the service of the major arcana. We pick the Sabbath seasons, moon cycles, sacred figures, constellations, planets, crystals, and plants. Each element has its own force, but together the cards take on a different symbol. This striking tarot with its beautiful black and white illustrations and metallic highlights reflects the magical and mystical world. It can be used for divination or during rituals. Okay, my friends, we definitely want to get into this deck. This was published by Rockpool Publishing. And I don't know, Baron Beringer? Beringer, is that what it is? Beringer Demonte? Beringer Demonte might be the author. Let's see. So check that out. We are going to get into this. Let's check, take a look at the guide. Ooh, I'm already peeking my friends and actually really liking this. Behringer Demonte. Uh, let's see. This is, oh, they're out in Australia. Rockpool is out in Australia. I'll be in Melbourne uh, April 20th through May 7th. So we'll see. But they're in Summer Hill. So I don't know what that is. Let's see. This was 2022. Oh, yeah. Um, copy, um, write text and illustration by Behringer Demonte, 2022. And this is the guidebook. Um, you kind of get a sense of what the pictures are, you see, or what the images are in the deck. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go and go and go. My friends, my friends are friends. I really want to ask you all, what decks do I need to add to my collection? But I already have so many. So I need to make my headway through these decks. Nice card stock. Um, okay, let's, let's get into this. So here's the back of the car. You're going to probably get um, a lot of my lighting. So I'll try to, uh, head, try to take in that direction. That way we're not picking up, um, the lighting. So I'll turn it a little bit that way. Okay. So let's get into these cars, my friends. Okay. I'm just looking at something. Hey, okay. Well, anyway, we'll get into it. So my friends, let's get into it. This is the fool. Look at that. I actually like that on this journey. Oh my gosh, this is a really cute deck, my friends. Look at that. Look at the illustrations on that. I like the detail. Here's the High Priestess. Ooh, I'm looking forward to using this deck. Ah, the Empress. And it's showing so much, you know, um, that goes to the Empress. Look at that. The Emperor. Oh, this is a great deck. I don't know why I didn't open this one up sooner. Look at the Lovers. Look at that. I really want to know what you all think about this deck. Look at Justice. Come through, Justice. And now, I'm not even paying attention to any of what I mean. It's, you, you can't miss it in terms of the planets. The, the, like, oh, I'm liking that. The plants you see in there. 
everything I read in that um, the back of the deck, you kind of pick up on the details that are are here. So let me go back and see the hermit. I like the hermit. Okay, um, the hangman. Look at that. Look at temperance. Go ahead, temperance. Mmm, the devil. Okay. The tower. One thing I like about it, you know, sometimes we get decks with the metallic finishes and they're hard to really photograph. You know, it's still flat. You know, you kind of get the, the tone of it, but it's still flat. So I like that. Let's see. The cards are sticking together. Um, the moon. And the sun. Let me stop for a second. Afefe asked this question the other day. I'm on the live. She said the question was that if the moon and the the moon and the sun and the sun got into a fight, who would mediate the fight? Who would help resolve the fight? And I would love to hear what your thoughts are. I chose the chariot because I think, you know, hey, taking, you know, like getting people together and organizing them and saying, hey, we're gonna go in this direction. You know, this squabble that you're having with this one, hey, I'll help you all out. Go in my direction if you can't figure it out. So I like that about the chariot. Let me know what you think. Okay, so here is judgment. Look at that. And the world. Okay. Now, one thing I love about this one that the elements are named. And so we're not necessarily getting the, um, you know, um, like swords and the wands and the pentacles and cups. You'll see that they have their elements, things attached to them. So here we go. So this is the ace of air. Two of air. Three of air. Four of air. What do y'all think about this, my friends? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. It's the nine. So I really want to know what you all are thinking about this. You know, when I'm looking at, you know, you know, some of the other decks and what, what are normally represented, it looks a little different, right? Um, so I want to know what you all think about this. Okay, so the cards are in this order, and I'll just read them as they are. Here's the Page of Air. Here's the Queen of Air. And then we have the King of Air. And then we have the Knight of Air. Okay. I want to go back and look at that one again, just to kind of look at that. So I'll take a little bit more time through this one because I want to kind of think about what I'm actually seeing compared to, you know, some of the other decks. So we have the Ace of Water or our Cups. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to spend some time. This is one where, you know, we'll want our intuition and, you know, thoughts and concepts of astrology of planets and all of it to kind of come in mind as we think about this. Five. This is the water, so this is our cups. And one of the things I want to think about is like, you know, not having the um the decks. I mean not having the elements. I mean they have them portrayed um a little bit differently than we would normally see them. So I kind of like that. Look at that. What's that saying to us, friends? Let's see, I have the nine. Let's see, ten. I love these illustrations, though. I mean, I definitely give it to that. Okay. That was the page. This is the queen. And then we have the king. And then we have the knight. Okay, so let's go into fire, my friend. Let's see what these wands are telling us. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that? You see, the crystals are coming through, you have the plants. And if you notice, I'm, and I'm not sure if it's picking up, but you can see in the cards, you know, um, the different um, elemental um, symbols. So you see it like here, the, um, the pyramid or triangle um, for fire. So it's also a good reminder of what these different symbols are. Look at that. 
If you had this deck, my friends, I would like to know how would you use this deck? How would you approach this? This is the Tarot of the Sorceress, and this was published by Rockpool Publishing and uh, by uh, Behringer Demoxy. So now we're going into Earth. So these are our pentacles, okay? And what we normally see as our pentacles or disc or canary, okay? I'm liking this. Look at those hands, right? What are the hands telling us in these cards? So I'm asking a lot of questions, my friends, because I want you to jump on and leave some thoughts in the comments. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on this deck. Look at that. It's black, white, and the gold detail in it. Yeah, we can have a lot of fun with this deck. Okay, let's see the king of the earth. And then we have the knight of earth. Okay, my friends, I want to know, this is the Tarot of the Sorceress, a witch's wheel of the year. Uh, Behringer de Monsi is the author and illustrator of this deck, and it was published by uh, Rockpool Publishing. So, you know, I kind of like their deck, not kind of, I do like their decks. And so what I'm going to do is just, you know, Just gonna um, use this deck for some readings, or for a reading, and then we'll see. Um, yeah. Let me see. If you got to this point in the video and you have a question that you want me to ask this deck, how about you leave it in the um, comments, and I will um, record a video and make sure that you have it, upload it, and so you'll have it. How about that? Okay. Absolutely, I will do it. If you got this far in the video. You know, let me know what your thoughts are about the deck. Um, you have a question for the deck. I'll be happy to consult with it and get that message back to you. Let's just say something. So what do we need to know for today? What do we need to know for today? So I would like to know, what do we need to know for today? Um, yeah, what do we need to know for today? So this deck has its gilded edges and gold. Um, love that. What do we need to know for today? Okay. Oof. Okay. Okay, we'll go with this one that fell out there. Mm. Mm, I like the card that came out, my friend. It's, 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 it's asking me a good question, you know? Oops, okay, so we'll go with these three cards. These are the cards that came out. These are the cards that came out. We have some big lessons, my friends. We have some big lessons. Um, and I just want to know what you're thinking. Okay, so the first card in the past position, my friend, is the Queen of Earth, right? The second card in the present position is Temperance. And the third card in the future position, my friend, is the Wheel of Fortune. And I'll tell you, my friend, just looking at these cards, it begs a lot of questions in terms of, you know, how are we taking care of those things that are important to us? How are we nurturing and really caring for it? And sometimes we might want to spend some time. Oh my goodness, my friends, it's snowing outside. So we might want to spend some time thinking that question about how are we taking care of the things around us? And if we're not satisfied with that question, we might want to take a step back and maybe we're doing too much in one direction and not enough in the other. Let's find that happy medium, my friend, and recognizing that the outcomes of our actions, sometimes they may leave us feeling well off. Sometimes they may feel us leaving a little on the downside, but you know, just keep going. Um, I don't know, that's what's coming to me right now as I think about this, but let me spend some time with these cards and yeah, how are we taking care of ourselves, my friends? And and are we 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 practice and balance and restraint as we go go through that and being able to accept that the outcome may be what we want, it may not be. Anyway, I don't know. That's what's coming to my mind. Thank you, Spirit. Um, check back. I'll make sure that I have some uh, videos posted and content posted throughout the week using this deck. This is the Tarot of the Sorcerers uh, by um, Behringer Demonsi and published by Rockpool Publishing, my friends. I love you. Check back.